Welcome everybody to the hottest damn show on the internet, Talking Mayhem Mania. And uh, I'm Matt, your favorite um, host and connoisseur of Mayhem Mania. Um, also guest host of the uh, Wrestling Mayhem show for one week. Get well soon, Sorgi. Uh, around the horn tonight, uh, Riz plays. Riz is here. Mad Mike's here. Riz Ron Stark's Riz. here. Chad the Shad. Hello. Dave Potter, Tina Keys. Um, I was going to be like, I got to use my Groundhog Day line, but I can't because this is not airing on Groundhog Day. But I forgot. I thought about all night. I was like, I'm guest hosting on the on Groundhog Day on the Wrestling Mayhem show. I'm going to open the show and I'm going to be like, well, it's Groundhog Day again, you know, and use the line. I forgot to do it. Hey, so it's gonna, okay, yeah, Matt, Matt, I can give you, Matt, I can give you a, uh, a forecast. It's six more weeks of Ronnie gang fucked and Mayhem Mania. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, the hurt, the hurt <laughs> feelings train is out of the station and rolling. Um, it was a fantastic night. Um, it really was. Uh, Mad Mike and Mad Mike is still hoarding a space jail ticket. Chad the Shad is hoarding two space jail tickets and a veto. Boom. He must be waiting. Maybe. He's waiting. Uh-huh. All wait. the best to do for the yeah. ultimate opportunity. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> it's like carrying around three money in the bank briefcases. For me. It's like you don't know what to do with them. You're going to need some Oh, I know like, what to order. do with them. Oh, I yeah. know. I know. Uh, let's just, uh, I'm going to run through the matches real quick and then we'll get to the, uh, uh, the topic of the evening. Uh, first of all, the cinematic match is now Goldberg versus Walter. Mm -hmm. So that's great. Uh, the Iconics versus <laughs> the Riot Squad. Uh, we now have Raquel Gonzalez versus Beth Phoenix. Uh, Bray Wyatt and Alexa Bliss versus Daniel Bryan and Nikki Cross in just a plain old match. Xavier Woods, <laughs> Easton and AJ Styles versus Tyler Breeze, Adam Cole and Cesaro. Finn Balor versus Aleister Black versus Karrion Cross, Keith Lee versus Pete Dunne, and I'm sorry, Pete Dune. Dune. And finally, we've got Samoa Joe versus Kyle O'Reilly versus Timothy Thatcher versus Ilya Dragunov in a whose chest bleeds first match. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, let's talk about what happened at the very end of the round tonight. Um, Riz, one of the move options that we have this year, since we have a dedicated cinematic <clears throat> match slot, mm -hmm. you can move a match out of that slot if you would prefer to have another match in it. So first of all, Goldberg, Goldberg starts the round in Space Jail. The wheel spins. Goldberg escapes Space Jail. Ronnie immediately books him in a match against Walter. And then Riz, batting cleanup, decides it would be great fun to swap the Goldberg versus Walter match into the cinematic match slot and move the Bray Wyatt and Alexa Bliss versus Daniel Bryan and Nikki Cross match out of the cinematic match slot. Yep. Now, trying to put aside all of the heartbreaking <clears throat> anguish that comes with seeing Goldberg on this card, <laughs> let's try to um, work through this um, debate right now over whether or not the Alex Cars rules is yep. applicable in this situation. Yeah. Um, now, the letter of law in the Alex Cars rule is that if your move does not survive the round, you we are obligated to invite you back next week so that you can make another match um, as the cleanup player, the last move. Matt, so Matt, match does stick now. I'm sorry, bef before we have a spirited debate on this, mm -hmm. um, Alex Cars, the namesake of the rule in the chat room before we signed off from the Mayhem show. Mm hmm. He said he doesn't think the rule should be applied. I don't. I, just okay. for what it's okay. worth, for what it's worth, he is the namesake of the rule. So that is a loophole. Then the reason, the reason this happened, the reason we have an Alex Carr's rule was because he made a move. His move got changed in the same round, and we're like, well, we kind of feel bad for Alex. Didn't so, it happen twice. It had to happen a couple yeah. times. It had to happen. Happened, were like, twice. before we felt bad, it had to happen more than yeah. once. It, it had to have happened more than like, so That's funny. I'm, that I'm just saying, before we get into a debate on whether or not the rule applies, I'm saying the namesake doesn't feel it should apply because the matches have not changed. Okay. Well, um, let, well, me, let me start here with Riz. Riz, <laughs> was your intent that your move would not only upset people by putting this match in the cinematic match. <laughs> but were, were you also gunning for an Alex Carr's role on this? I was looking for mayhem. Yeah. Well, you've you done it, son. I got it. But 
like the the Alex Cars rule, I thought would have been in effect because it's uh, it is switching styles. It's it's not switching the participants. It's switching styles. It's but I can see. But I can see the. I, I can. I can push off on that. I can say, hey, that's just the loophole that we found. Let, where... let me ask you another question here. Mm-hmm. The Alex Cars rule does not apply to both matches. It only applies to the match that got pulled out of the cinematic match slot, right? So it's only the both... Alexa Bray versus Daniel Bryan Nikki Cross okay. match where the Alex Cars rule applies because well, I think, Goldberg I think Walter have... match is actually the creation of a new match. Or I, I think it would have to apply to both. In there, that they, 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 applied, they would they would have applied to both if if yeah. we're if we're you know saying hey this yeah. is the the match but if, if it's not that's fine too i like to see the world burn i know you do that's all. um <laughs> let's go around the horn here uh ronnie i uh, i for one am offended and appalled yep. <laughs> that uh that mike would try to put me in space jail i, th- I find that to be <laughs> really you goddamn are, ridiculous technically you are an active wrestler i can put the character of ronnie starts in space jail i dare you to put me in space jail i'm considering it I dare you. I triple dog dare you. You you put your goddamn tongue to that pool, sir. I dare you. <laughs> all right. First of all, that's a terrible movie. <laughs> oh. you're, you're a terrible movie. Wow. Oh, dear. Okay. Right. Well, yeah, of course I'm a terrible movie. I don't have an ending yet. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, all right. Thank, thank you for your input, Ronnie. I appreciate that. The voice of the heaven. Thank you. Mark just dropped into our uh, chat room and just said, yeah, fuck that movie. So. All, all I heard was bing and then sort of The anonymous, the anonymous mayhem mania general manager said. Oh, that was wow. funny. He can't th- he's not thinking clearly tonight because we're on Tuesday. He's not feeling well. He's under the weather. But that was the, his one moment of like clear thinking. Oh, that that, that was clear thinking. Mm-hmm. On so this day, he saw clearly. Yes. Yeah, exactly. If I may, uh, if I may uh, make a an actual emotion thought here, uh, like I said, like I said during the Mayhem show, uh, that was one of the moves I wanted to do. But the other move I wanted to do was was something that came up in my mind before the Royal Rumble and before this whole craziness happened that we had to put Goldberg out and, and Space Jail and bring him back in. But like, my other move would have honestly been a really fucking good match. Mm-hmm. Okay. But as I said before, are you holding that in your back pocket? And that's not tell you're saying, Well, you should see what I have. It was amazing. What I have, it was it, well, I'm not gonna tell you, but it was I'm not gonna true. tell you. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna tell you. And, <laughs> and honestly, both competitors are still available. Awesome. And you guys would you say it health. was a doozy? My health plan is amazing. I'm gonna show you guys eventually. It's gonna be great. <laughs> um Chad. <laughs> yes. Um Alex Carr's role, yes or no? <sighs> on both matches. My thought, like, the Alex Carr's rule has to go into effect on something that was created today. And, and they both were. Altered, correctly? Yeah. Correct. Yeah. So, like, it wouldn't apply to um, the the Bray Wyatt match because that match wasn't created. Uh, yeah. Well, it was. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was. No, I, I changed it. it. Yeah, both oh, of those right. matches were brand new. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Were new. Were I, I had, I had, I had forgotten that. Yeah, it had been changed. Okay. Yeah, it was two MB. Um, which it, it complicates things, but I, <laughs> I think when the dust settles, the matches themselves with the competitors are still intact. Therefore, um, the dressing doesn't really matter because the matches are still there. I mean, um, okay. the, the, dressing, the, the dressing can be like the main course. It's a Caesar salad. But, all right, so here, it's, here it's, yeah, it's, but you're just you're changing the color of their shorts or something. It's not like yeah, it, you're, it, you're, it, you're, yeah. You're putting one match before halftime and one match after. So it, it's, uh, it's like when we add simulation. It doesn't, it doesn't change the nuts and bolts of the match. It just changes 
the style of match it is. And again, I, I'm not saying that I'm going to revolt if. Yeah, it sounds like you're saying, saying that. that. I'm <laughs> not. I'm not. I'm just. I'm just pointing out. I'm just playing devil's advocate here, saying that both matches were changed. And then they but, were swapped. This is Sean O'Hare. The matches weren't changed. You just okay. changed the position on the card they're in. I didn't change them. The you, matches were you swapped. You are doing Sean O'Hare. Um, Dave Podner, where are you on this? Uh, and the facts are facts. I'm, I'm half and half because, like you said, the, the match did I mean, the, the participants didn't change. But it uh, – the story if, uh, changed this uh, a lot, which especially with the matches that were changed, moving mm -hmm. a Bray match from a cinematic to a non cinematic is a major change, mm -hmm. you know. Um, also, putting Goldberg into a cinematic match is, in my mind, kind of like what if they said if you would have said last year, well, we're going to have Undertaker versus AJ Styles, but they're just going to be in a ring and have a match. Mm -hmm. That's a that, that's the same people, com, completely different setup. Yeah, you know, if it was other people with the cinematic matches, it'd be different. But with the participants, it, it's it they're they're so different. And of course, we didn't really go into or haven't or I don't know if we're going to later down and say describe what the cinematic match would look like. Mm -hmm. You know, instead of just saying it's a cinematic match, but it's like it's cinematic and here's the storyline or here's the setup for the cinematic match. Oh, yeah. You get my you get my wheels turning on that one. Actually. Yeah, that could be fun to do later down the line. Yeah. Um, Dave, thank you very much. That was very insightful. Uh, Tina, do you have any feelings on this one way or the other? I think the rules should apply. I mean, both matches were created today. Um, the swap was the swap was a move, a basic move for Mayhem Mania. Yeah. So it should apply. It, right. it, this is kind of crazy. This feels like the um, it, like the, I forget what movie it is. You ever see the movie where like they bring in like the the leaders of like every country and they're like, I vote to strike. You, I you vote know, we should stand. You know, we, we should you know, launch the nuclear is. arsenal <laughs> now. You know, it's like this, this is, is this is like a game of dodgeball. No, since we're gonna, <laughs> since we're gonna be living in a in a in a peacock flavored world, um, <laughs> this is arguing if um. If um oh what's the chick from the next Karate Kid? If um oh man, the chick from the next Karate Kid is Hillary Swank. If Hillary yeah. Swank is hot, she's attractive. Yeah, I don't know. Th this well, is this is that argument. Also, this is going to lay precedent where because in the future you figure if 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 anyone who's last pulls the switching of cinematic. That's two. Uh, there's a chance that you're going to be in our oh, chance for two people get like that. Like, well, because like that again, because because this is the only reason I'm against it. Because what if only one of those matches was changed? Technically, a a like when we do a swap one person for one person, that's two matches changing. If we had like if someone like switched it with like the Iconics versus the Riot Squad, and put that in the cinematic match instead of the other. Instead of Bray and Alexa versus, um, I don't even remember who it was, but oh, uh, Nikki and um, Nikki and Daniel, Nikki, yeah. Nikki and Brian, that would still be a double Alex Cars rule. I, I think I think it sets a bad precedent. Because no, I, don't, I don't think it would be a double Alex Cars rule because the, the match wasn't wasn't created and then changed the same but day. It's changing the nuts and bolts of the match, like you said. Right. Right. It, yeah. if, we do, if we do a one to one swap, it's the same thing. Like if if someone did a one to one swap with two with two matches that were created today, then that would be a double Alex Cars rule because that changes right. the actual match. Mm -hmm. Like this, the, the match isn't changed because Maybe, we have yeah. gotten into types of matches. Maybe there has to be a cinematic amendment. Mm. This mm. is a tough one. I I I think it should got, apply because I, it sets a it sets a nasty precedent. I, 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 I mean, the worst bad cars. precedent it sets is that we end up having double ox cars roll if you guys keep uh, doing this. I'm actually surprised that this match swap thing even happened. I just kind of put it out there into the into the universe to Matt, see what you happened. Dangle Matt, it! I will it. 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 You did it. You you did put it out there untested, and then Riz. Yeah, someone always going to bite that carrot. Yeah, you're right. Um, someone's well, always going to bite. 
we are we are running out of we are running precious out of time. I appreciate the have debate. All the answers. I changed the questions. Uh, I appreciate the um, <laughs> the changed match versus unchanged match uh, in regards to how they got swapped that Mad Mike brought up. But I think my gut is telling me that for this specific instant, uh, I'm thinking about how the cinematic match slot colors and influences what okay. the Here's matchmaker wants to create. Um, and that if they were outside of that, they would not create the same match, which is why now we have Bray and Alexa versus Nikki and Daniel Bryan. And it feels like a something you'd see at nine o'clock on SmackDown. I have, so, I, I, have mean, a I have a compromise. What if, since it's kind of a gray area, that we mix it and have maybe one participant choose one side and the other participant choose the other side to make a match. No, no. See, oh. see this is when we're in <laughs> the weeds. Zany, but yeah, I, I, I really want to see the world burn. All right, all right, I, do. Gonna, I, I have an idea. Time. Matt, Wait, I, have, I have a quick idea. All right, make it quick. We make a poll. We make a poll either on Twitter or on Facebook. Results of the poll wins. Uh, I thought you were going to say. You, you All right, that's what we'll do. Then. We'll, we'll, I'm real we'll 50 50 on it now. We we will yeah. present. I, I have a feeling on this, but you know what? Democracy. It's fun for everybody. So we will. When we when we pub after we publish this episode of Talking Mayhem Mania, we'll put up a poll. We'll let everyone decide. Does the Alex Cars rule apply in this situation? To you know both matches, whatever you know, we'll we'll figure out the proper wording, and that is how we will handle it. I'll vote um, for mayhem. Everyone. A vote for mayhem is a vote for mayhem. Um, oh, thanks everybody man. for your input. We are deep into the woods. The lore is so thick, I can barely handle it. But if you want to catch up on what's happening, go to wrestlingmayhemshow.com so you can see all of the mischief we've caused over the past seven. This is the seventh year of mayhem mania, and it only gets uglier every year. I never should have introduced this rule, but here we are. Now we got to find our way out of it. Uh, thanks everybody for joining me and we will see you next time. Stay may heavy. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.